Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and today I've got for you kind of a product review. Um, a number of my friends are inventors, uh, product designers, uh, people coming up with uh, great new things. And for a long time, probably going on 20 years, I have not had a wallet. I just haven't uh, seen a wallet design that I really liked. And unfortunately, that meant that uh, everything just kind of ended up in my pocket like that. ID, debit card, business cards, receipts, a uh, little bit of a mess, but it beat having a, a big, thick wallet stuck in my box back pocket that I didn't care for. So a little while back, I met my friend uh, Mark King, who's a really neat guy. He built his own electric car from scratch while still in high school. And last time I saw him, he pulled out a prototype utility wallet and said, here, what do you think? And what's really cool is he now has a Kickstarter campaign going for that. So he's calling this product the Trayvax. And it's sort of a, a utility wallet. Um, it keeps your ID, your credit cards, all that together, but it has some other neat functionality in terms of uh, what you can carry and what you can do with it. So I asked him, hey, could you just send me one? I'll check it out, let, uh, let my YouTube audience uh, know what I think of it. So let's uh, come in a little closer, take a look at this Trayvax utility wallet. Okay, so here we have the Trayvax utility wallet. Um, brand new, comes in uh, packaging. I'm sure these will be out in uh, retail stores soon. Well, you'll see them hanging up at a rack, maybe camping stores, different places like that. Uh, pretty straightforward, comes in a couple of different colors. This one's gray, this one's blue. Uh, the colored portion is uh, anodized aluminum, and then the, uh, the black part is steel. So uh, it's real durable. It's a good paint job on there. It doesn't feel like it's gonna scratch or wear off anytime soon. Another thing I thought was interesting is uh, I've got access to a laser cutter, laser etcher, and this is a pocket knife that had some, uh, it's got an aluminum cover on it, so I laser engraved my name in there. And I thought that was another cool thing you could do with this, uh, with this Trayvax, is if you wanted, you could laser engrave right in there. Uh, a cool logo, design, uh, please return to so-and-so. A lot of different things you could do with that right there. Now, one of the first things I was wondering on this is if uh, the cards, business cards, ID, things like that, if they'd, they'd fall out, you know, maybe they're, they're too loose. But no, it's, uh, they stay in there really, really well, and it's adjustable. You just adjust this paracord here. If you carry a lot of credit cards or business cards or whatever, you can adjust for the thickness right here. And what you do is you, you kind of open it like a regular wallet. You just unhook the Velcro, and then things easily slide in and out. So, you know, you can shuffle through, pull out your business cards, um, debit cards, gift cards, whatever. I actually like how uh, the ID, your face is right here, but if you slide that over, you can see what's behind it. So let's say I want that particular uh, credit card. It shuffles in and out really easy. And then you just close up the Velcro and everything holds nice and tight again right away. Now on the back here, you can keep your cash. Uh, it's also a good place for uh, stashing receipts that you gotta keep track of or that sort of a thing. Uh, another kind of a cool thing is you can put a shopping bag in there. So here I looped a plastic grocery bag on here and it's stored in the back. I didn't even do a very good job of uh, tucking it in there or anything. But you just pull it out and then uh, loop the handle up onto the hook right here. And then uh, put your groceries inside. And the weight of the groceries holds it on the hook there. Pretty nice. And you've always got a grocery bag with you when you want it. Your fingers have a good little finger hook it's nice and sturdy. But the other thing too that I didn't even think about until I used this is how to unhook it, which on the hook end you just unhook it. But over here there's a little tiny slot and all you do is you just pull up on there and unhook it. It comes right off so it's actually really easy. So if you're the type like me who wants to reuse grocery bags or bring your own net bag or something but always forgets to, if you have it right here it's uh, handy, you remember it. And even with the bag that still fits really nice in my front pocket, no problem. Uh, if you wanted to uh, have this with your keys, it's all set for a carabiner or a regular keychain, key ring, whatever. Keep all your stuff uh, together that way as well. 
Now what I've been doing is keeping this in my front left pocket with this side towards my leg, this away. So even if I have a big bag in there or whatever, it fits really nice in my pocket. I've also noticed that uh, this little tensioner here for adjusting the thickness also works really, uh, really handy to reach into my pocket and use that as a grab point to pull it out. Um, I also checked, and even though this is a hook here, the way it faces inside, it does not snag your pocket, anything like that. Same thing with the Velcro. There's no, uh, no snagging, no uh, catching on loose threads in your pocket or anything like that. So it's a good size, fits right in the pocket. It opens beer. What else do you got to say? Here's another fun thing. I don't even know if the designer even intended or not, but uh, the black part is steel. It's nice and strong. And both of these pieces actually work uh, pretty well as a screwdriver. So, you know, if you need to thread a screw into the bottom of a tripod or whatever you need a slotted screw tightened down for, you've already got a screwdriver uh, right on you as well. Now the cord that's on here, uh, this is basically just uh, paracord, which a lot of people have been getting at camping stores and playing with, uh, you know, making uh, lanyards and different things. And I thought if you did want to customize yours a little bit more, uh, there's no reason why you couldn't swap out that paracord for a different color. I was thinking maybe like a black Travax with a neon green cord going through it would be kind of cool. So if you really want to get wild and totally customize yours, there's uh, no reason not to. So overall, um, I got to say I'm pretty impressed with the product. It just uh, it works the way it's supposed to. Doesn't take up too much room in my pocket. Holds all my stuff together. That's really what I'm looking for. Um, about the worst that I could say is if you carry uh, a big wad of cash, it's not perfect for that. Um, it's great for credit card, ID, uh, business cards, some cash. Uh, and then bag or not, depending on what your preference is. Um, the Kickstarter for this is running till June 11th, so go check that out, and you can just order one of these right now by um, participating in the Kickstarter campaign. Um, after June 11th, 2013, ignore that part, and hopefully the comment on this video will say that it was a successful Kickstarter. Um, I don't know what else to say about this other than it looks really uh, sturdy. You know, it's real, real solid. It's good materials. It's not going to fall apart on you. But um, I think the proper way to test how tough anything is, is with the truck test. And for that, that just means I run it over with my truck. And it survives. Well, that's it. You know, you run it over with a truck. Doesn't look any worse for wear. And just so you know, yes, I really did do that with my uh, driver's license and credit cards and everything else in there. Um, looks fine to me. Uh, check it out on Kickstarter. Uh, check it out at Trayvax.com. And uh, if you want to see more about my clean transportation projects, check out 300mpg.org and uh, ecoprojecteer.net for my fun alternative energy and backyard projects. Till next time, take care.